hi welcome back to rebecca's travels or if you're watching uh, my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope everybody's as well as possible and um, today i'm going to be doing a budget travel special 10 exciting facts august 2024 part three so um the weather in the UK at the moment is a cloudy but dry um, it's not cold outside um, so um, if you haven't subscribed to my travel and my lifestyle channel please subscribe and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so if you haven't already done so and um, I'm getting the information uh, for my 10 budget travel exciting facts from arborabroad.com so i'm going to kick off with the first exciting fact um this is um a fact that um i haven't uh, said or told you before um in previous videos um of budget travel um number one coming in uh, at number one make your own coffee at your place instant coffee and um, bring a small uh, pour over coffee maker and a aeropress if you're uh, going self catering or if you're staying at hotels and resorts and um, try and that do not provide uh, free tea and coffee making facilities um, but again if you can get um, a hotel that does provide a uh, free tea and coffee or hot drink um, facilities then again that's a bonus um, then obviously you won't need an aeropress or a, co a, a coffee maker Um, number two um, look for happy hour or discounted drinks at um, local corner stores or at supermarkets again uh, shop around um, look out for if you're staying in a hotel look out for happy hours and free drinks or discounted drinks um, in resorts um, again that does come in with free drinks um, a lot of all-inclusive um, resorts um, number three um, eat breakfast in your accommodation uh, such as making it yourself or fi uh, find out if your hotel um, includes a free breakfast um, and it's always better if it, do it does if the breakfast is included in the price because obviously it's saving you money uh, from uh, eating out And number four, if you ha do not choose to eat out, or if you do choose to eat out, then eat where the locals eat, uh, no, uh, which means no English menus. English menus are um, a real black, a real big red flag, and overprices and um, sub uh, par food. Um, before uh, and before you get hungry walk around the city or town and pay attention to where the locals are eating out uh, this will uh, give you an insight to their normal eating patterns plus you also typically 
and um, it is a good wa way to find out um, if it's a good place to eat or not uh, where the locals um, are eating or basically good value for money and uh, number five um, make your own um, tour of often times uh, you can look um, at what tour companies are offering and then plan your own transportation um, on your own alternatively look for free walking tours a lot of cities offer free tours uh, for tips usually and um, it's a great way to meet people and get your groundings for a place um, that you're not familiar with especially if it's a free time uh, first time going to that city it's a good way of with only having it to well you don't have to pay for the free walking tour but you can give a tip if you want to or if you've got the spare change um number six um walk where you can and um, to your attraction or wherever you want to go to um say like um a cafe restaurant or say to the beach and um, walk where you can um, number seven take local transportation or if you're on a coach tour um, obviously go on the coach trip that's provided and um, that's it obviously if you want to go on to uh, the coach trip um, but uh, total coach court at all companies if you don't want to go on the trip you, all you need to do is just tell the driver um beforehand and then obviously you're not incl including when they're doing the count ups um number eight shop around before buying we strongly suggest when uh, looking for things to buy um go away from touristy areas uh, those are again all overpriced and often um, are not authentic goods uh, number nine likewise shop and uh, shop around before exchanging any money also no, at number 10 um, a, a really good idea I, I don't think I've mentioned before is a uh, pack last fabulous fact number 10 is pack a reusable water bottle um, you're saving your budget and also saving the planet so it's a win-win situation even if the countries um, that you're going to it doesn't have safe drinking water if you have a reusable bot bottle then you could buy some water um, from a, a shop or a supermarket um, or or maybe market and again shop around again for water prices and then um, put the water um, into the the reusable water bo bottle so i would like to say thank you for watching and i hope if you are going on holiday or a day trip i hope you really enjoy uh, yourself so i would like to say um thank you for watching and i'll see you for uh, my budget and my lifestyle uh, travel updates um tomorrow so thank you and bye for now thank you bye